Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you something really cool that a viewer actually showed me recently. Herb Fargus created a portable game station version 1.5.0. What this is, is a portable emulation station setup for your Windows machine. Works really well. Now it's using an older emulation station build and an older retro arch build, but you can always update that. I'll leave a link to JRAS's GitHub. He has a updated version of Emulation Station for Windows. All you have to do is drop this in there. I will also leave a link to the Libretro RetroArch version 1.6.0. This video, I'm just going to show it to you. If you guys want to see a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. This thing is pretty awesome. Now you can always go and download Emulation Station and set this up yourself if you want to, but this is pretty cool that Herb did this all for us. Everything's here. This GitHub page has everything you need to know. First thing you're gonna do is download the Portable Game Station. It's a zip file, it's 212 megs. Next thing you wanna do is go to the wiki page. This tells us pretty much everything we need to know about this setup here. So a lot of these Older emulators are going to rely on RetroArch cores, but you can install standalone systems for GameCube, Wii, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, PSP, Dreamcast. I like using these standalone versions for Dreamcast and Dolphin. So we're going to go down here and check out PS2. This is our essystems.config. The emulator we're going to be using is PCSX2. You will need to download this yourself and place it in the correct folder. I'll show you exactly where to place it. So if you're unsure of which system runs which emulator, come to this wiki page, or you can also just look at the es underscore systems config inside of the portable game station. I have mine on a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive. Yours should look similar to this. I might have some newer stuff in here because I did update my emulation station build here. One of the main folders we need to focus on is dot emulation station. Open it up. We have our BIOSes, downloaded images, game list, ROMs. This is where our games are gonna go. So if you wanna play a Dreamcast game, put your Dreamcast games in here. There's also a readme file in each of these folders. It tells us that the Dreamcast ROMs need to go in here and also tells us the extension we can use. Let's take a look at one more of these. We'll go to Atari 2600, read me, place your Atari 2600 ROMs here. Emulator, it's gonna be using a RetroArch core. Systems, another very important folder. Dolphin. So I installed the standalone version of Dolphin, the GameCube and Wii emulator here. I just downloaded it from the Dolphin website, extracted it right in here. So it's pretty easy to set up. If you guys need some help, let me know. And later on this week, I can do a tutorial on it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this. If you've messed with emulation station and front ends in the past on your Windows machine, you should really have no trouble setting this up. I'm gonna go full screen back. This will launch everything for us. And we have Emulation Station. So it's very simple to use. You can scrape your games from here by pressing start on your controller, go to scraper, scrape your games. I'm gonna start Dolphin. And I have a few GameCube games here. Go to Soul Calibur 2. Launch the standalone Dolphin emulator for us. I have my FPS listed up in the top left hand corner. And I'll just play a quick round.
So this is a pretty awesome front end for your PC. You could set up a third party app to enable controller automation. So let's say we want to press start and select to close Dolphin. You'd need a third party app to set that up. But most of these emulators should exit by pressing escape on your keyboard. So we'll back up. And as you can see, I have a lot of emulators set up in here. It works really well on my machine. I'm going to test this on a lower end i3 machine later on. So installing this is not going to increase performance of your emulated games. If your games don't run well, this isn't going to make them run any better. This is just a front end using RetroArch and standalone emulators. It's really cool to have this though. And I'm super glad that Herb set this up for everybody. I wanted to get it out there. If you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to fix something up next week for you guys. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. All the links are down below. And I want to give a shout out to Herb Farguson for doing this. Also, Jay Rasa for doing the updated emulation station build for Windows. Like always, thanks for watching.